Hey YouTube, it's Lovemaker, once again for looking back to the episode 2 of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This ep last episode, we began this adventure with a very, very lengthy episode. This episode, we are going to be doing this shrine. And yes, this one, as you probably noticed, is shorter than the last. So, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to start cutting out the uh, loading screens. I don't think they're necessary to stay in the video. So yeah, I'm going to start cutting those out from this point forward. You who set foot in the shrine, I am Jabaji. I have no idea to say that. It's the name the guys have this trial. The bomb trial. Plain and simple. We are getting bombed. Time for once again the drop of knowledge. Or is that supposed to be a tear? Because <coughs> of the eye? And it's like a drop under the eye. Is that supposed to be like the tear of knowledge? I have no idea. Okay, I actually do somewhat have a plan for this episode. I'm hoping we can take care of uh, two shrines this episode. We are going to be making a bit more forward progress than the last one. As you notice, we have two types of bombs. We have a square bomb, which is mostly for being like placed forward, and uh, a round bomb, which rolls. You can use either one, they're both just as effective as the other. Traveler's Claymore. It's a decent weapon. Now you notice, these things take the Sheikah Slate in order to open. I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna open it from behind. Kick! Who needs the Sheikah Slate where you can just kick it? Ah! By the way, I'm being constantly grabbed. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, boom! Yes, watch out. You actually can blow yourself up. I've actually had some hilarious moments with that. Okay, what I'm... There are two ways I normally do this. One way is you can place this, put it like there, get off. No! Oh. The other way is that you can use the rolling bombs and throw it towards the uh, this platform as it starts to move. You can do it that way. Now then, see these? Like launchers. This ball here pretty much shows you what you need to do. If you want this chest. And also on how to solve the puzzle. Whee! And Ember. Embers are good for selling as well as for something else much later on. When it comes to like the ores and that that we get. I can remember the right buttons. I actually intend to hold on to them for a while unless I need a quick bit of money. Okay, so what you want to do here is put this in here. Hopefully get it to move. <laughs> and do exactly like what that thing there is doing. As you'll see when it flings. Boom! That's an easy puzzle. And there's our monk. By the way, uh, I am going to start skipping the intros and everything into the uh, into the shrines and just like this bit here because you can skip them. But I think after the first four shrines, I'll do that. Your resolve, uh, resourcefulness, overcoming the trial speaks promise of a hero. Spirit orb. You can hear the bone hand crunching away as it's grabbing me. <coughs> I think I'm being groped. Second spirit orb. Okay, I'm just gonna skip you from here. <laughs> okay, let's uh, first destroy this. 
and grab the CX chest. It is a Nintendo Switch shirt. This is for the expansion pass bonus. Except as you can tell, it's kind of weak, so we'll wear it for now because our shirt is the same durability, so it's it's okay for now. Okay, uh, this bit might result in our death, what we're about to do. We're gonna go near this thing. <coughs> Say hello to the the Decay Guardian. Now, I'm gonna want to deflect this. Oh! Fail. Round two! <laughs> okay, time for round two. Fight! <laughs> Boom. This thing can destroy your shield, uh, especially these weak ones in one blow. But... Damn it! He can nail a, a reflect. Yeah! It's an instant kill. Well, it's an instant kill on these weak ones. There are other forms of these guardians. Denied. I can he hear the keys. Uh, stupid stall for goblins or whatever they're called. There you are. Die. Now then, believe it or not, we still got two more keys. Uh, keys. Guardians. Uh, well, decay guardians to fight. Well, I don't have to fight them, but I want to. Bomb. Yeah! Take that! Ancient Shaft. Oh, that's a really, really good item. You're going to want to get a lot of these ancient parts. Trust me, you're going to need them. Okay, time for the last one. Yes! Three times in a row, man! Well done, guys. I think I hear something. Okay, we are back. Uh, sorry about that cut, but I'm going to give you guys a bit of information about that cut. That was 24 hours ago since I recorded. By the way, if you come around here from that guardian, you can do this. Yeah, that was 24 hours ago for me. Because things happened and we had like a family gathering because of Christmas. So I ended up not being able to finish up this episode, but we're back now. We're going to do it. Yay! Okay. Uh, yeah, we got that core rock right there. We killed the guardians by magic deflect. Well, technology laser beam deflect. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, what we're doing now is heading towards the next shrine, but we're also collecting stuff along the way. Memory says me right, there is a chest, I think, on the edge of one of these. Ooh. Gotcha! On the edge of one of these. It might be in there. Boom. The pain! Is it in there? No, it's not. Hmm. Must be over there, then. That's all fine. So let's see. We're heading over to that shrine there, but of course we're going around. We're going to be like fighting the monsters and that. I think from this point forward, I'm going to start uh, either speeding up or cutting the fights. I might speed up for the moment, but later on, as the game goes forward, I might start cutting the fights. Gotta watch out about that. Oh, he lived? Ah! Suck on that, Bacoblin! <laughs> I use nature to kill my enemies. Now... Wait. 
Okay, he doesn't know it's me, so they're going back to the nest, and then they should disperse. That is awesome. Um, by the way, I've still yet to show you a trick with the wooden shields. You probably know it. It's actually a pretty co uh, common one, but it's really awesome, and it's one of the things I plan to do off-screen in order to grind for arrows. But I'll show you that soon enough. If we go, because if we go past that way there, past that rock, go down, there are more monsters with another one of those monster chests. We will head that way in a sec. It's just I want to find this chest I'm remembering. At least I could swear there's a chest. There it is! I knew there was a chest in one of these. I think these are arrows, though. Uh, one of the elements? Fire arrows? Is it fire arrows? No bomb arrows! But it's red, so I was half right, I guess. The bombs can uh, combust for fire. So I'm somewhat right. Okay. Uh, give me a blade. Uh, you! Lizard and a restless cricket. You're going to want to collect, I believe, 20 or 25 of these things. There's a side quest in the game that actually wants uh, these restless crickets, about 20, 25 of them. So try to grind for them. They're actually very common. So if you just keep on doing this, you will find tons of them. As well as you'll find high tail lizards. And in different areas of the game, you'll find different stuff. You'll find uh, different kinds of lizards. There are, I think, two other kinds still left to find. Stamina mushroom, green mushroom that grows near trees in the forest. It's chock full of natural energy. Cook it to release stamina restoration properties. And uh, there are fairies in this game. Yeah, there are fairies. Oh. No! Oh, he... Oh! I wanted to get one of those. Uh, so yeah, there are still quite a few things. Uh, let's see. Now, for another Korok seed. If you come up here, you'll see this. If you ever find these, examine. <coughs> yes, I did. Number five. We have five Korok seeds. Now, if... I'm not 100% confident if my numbers are completely right. Potlid, it's also a shield. But I do believe there are a total of 17 Koroks on the Great Plateau. And I do know where they all are. So we'll be getting them as we go along. As usual. Now then. Oh. Ah. These spicy peppers can make you certain types of uh, heated food, which we are actually going to be cooking some. If you read this book, it'll actually tell you on... Actually, I think we want to do this. It's uh, somewhat of like a side quest. Does plateau, cooking, perfect dish, I call it spicy meat and seafood fry. The recipe is not only restores health, but also keeps me warm when traveling in snowy mountains. With the dish on the side, I no longer have the itch, the itchy warm uh, doublet. Read more. I don't know how allowed this happened, but I've forgotten to write down the very important recipe. I don't know, it, I know it contains raw meat and spicy pepper. However, I simply cannot remember what else is used. My age is catching up with me. Sadly, on this lonely plateau, I only have my own knowledge and memory to rely on. Still, if I someone is missing... If I did find someone who knew the missing ingredient, I would happily reward them with my warm uh, doublet. Okay, he, what he's talking about there is something we ain't going to be getting for a bit, even though you could get it sooner than expected, but I choose not to. Now, do we have other things? No, I need raw meat, but I don't have any raw meat on me at the moment. Um, I could go and quickly try and get some. Over here at the Forest of the Spirits. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm uh, gonna go and try and quickly grab... Uh, should I do that? Actually... Let's get up to that shrine first. Shoot a, bu a bird and get a raw bird drumstick. There's the old man. 
I suppose this recipe isn't really a big necessary to get just yet, but we will do it. Some more mushrooms. Okay, let's talk to the old man. Oh, fancy that, so we meet again. What are you doing? I thought this tree here would make, so, make some good firewood. Mm. However, getting the tree to fall exactly where you want is quite an art. The trick is to turn your hips so that they face the way you want the tree to land. Mm. So, I see you found my axe. Why not help me out to give me give a few swings? Working on quite a sweat here, but these old bones could use a break. Yeah, um, what he means by that is you can act... He's actually trying to teach you for this. If you aim this just right... You can make yourself a wooden bridge. Now, but before we go that way, I want to go this way. Because we have ourselves the Bacal uh, another one of these monster camps. And there's that monster chest I was saying about before. One thing I don't think I've ever shown you yet is that you can shield surf. By uh, when you're running, if you do Z target, jump and press A really quickly, you can go wee. They're really good for going down mountains really fast. A farmer's pitchfork. Gonna want to remember that for later. If you uh, yeah, if you roll ride on stone, your shield takes damage. Oh wow, even my bow just broke. Uh, oh, ah, damn it, I wasn't actually supposed to kill him yet, I wanted to use him. Yeah, because I've still yet to show you guys that trick. Uh, I'll do it after this. Um... Fuck you! Boom! <laughs> Denied! Ding, ding. Okay, sorry for swearing. I got caught up in the moment. <laughs> I love doing that. I just do sneak attacks. It's fun. There are many ways you can find this game. I see a lot of people doing things quite creative. I've yet to actually try to do. But there are some fun ways you can kill monsters. Throwing spear. That's not that bad. I like having at least one spear on me at all times. So I will take that instead of that club. <coughs> now then, get yourself a wooden weapon. Actually, you don't have to do that. You could do this. Whoop! If you see wood, nine times out of ten, it's gonna burn! Okay, those bees will come after you. So, get yourself fire. The other way you can get rid of bees is to use fire arrows. Basically, the bees do not like fire. So, remember that. Chest. Bomb arrows! Okay, we're going to head back over there, so I think I'll cut this tiny little trip out, because, well, yada yada. I thought I heard something. Okay, we are now going over here towards these goblins. And we got ourselves quite a big tr apple tree here. This thing can produce you a lot of apples. No! No! Bob's away! Hi! <laughs> uh, this thing's weakened. Woohoo! I'll take a fresh one. Okay, with apple trees, you can actually just cut the tree down and get the apples that way. Whee! Since you've already cut it down, you might as well finish the job. Get yourself some more wood. Now, if you pop over here, we got ourselves a breakable wall. Throw a bomb at it. This should be fire arrows. Or bombs. I seem to be mistaking those lately. Fire arrows this time. <laughs> that must be what I've think been thinking the whole time. Okay, now we're going to do a bit of climbing. I don't think we've actually done climbing yet, so I'm going to show this bit. Even though, yeah, I know it's climbing, it's obvious, yada yada yada. 
Actually, now that I think about it, I think I'm gonna... No, actually, I think we'll be okay. Um, the best way I find to climb is to try to take a run, jump, and uh, try to get a high. Sometimes you'll do like an extra little step up. You can jump while climbing like this, but you got to watch your stamina because you will run out. And if you run out, you will fall. Okay. Yeah, there's these things growing out on the sides of what of uh, mountains and that. You want to collect 50 of these. I believe these are called rush rooms. Or rush mushrooms. I ain't too sure. Let's find out, shall we? Rush rooms. Mushroom that can uh, grow almost anywhere, but it prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. Yeah, so there are ways to increase your movement speed so you can walk faster or run faster, or both, technically. Okay, that wasn't much of a jump. Uh, I suppose that's a little higher. Okay, let's uh, grab this rush room. I think I might make this episode a little bit longer because... Well, stuff. <laughs> I definitely want to do that recipe thing and go back and talk to the old man, but first thing I want to do is actually get to this shrine and complete it. So we'll be done with it. Okay, this bit can get a bit tricky because the distances between these little plateaus are actually kind of small, are a little longer away. Okay, that did not feel that good. That neither. No, no! I'm dead. I'll see you back there! <laughs> okay, we are back here. Exhausted, but we made it. Okay, we learned a new lesson today, everybody. Watch your step. <laughs> I ain't gonna try and be fancy anymore. Well, I'll try to get a better jump. I ain't gonna try that. Yeah. Okay, just one last climb and we'll be there. There's that little step I was talking about. If you can manage that, you can get yourself just a teeny bit more distance that can sometimes make all the difference when climbing with low stanima. Yeah, so you gotta... So, keep an eye out for that one. Okay, let's do this shrine. Gonna start skipping these though. Because, well, we've already seen two of them. So we can just skip. Okay, the status trial. <coughs> As you can tell, this lets you get in the form of status effects. Now for the, the uh, tier of knowledge. Uh, that's what I'm calling it from now on, the tier of knowledge. That looks like an eye and a teardrop. And it sells that. Uh, it gives us stuff, so the tier of knowledge! <coughs> I might call that the episode, the tier of knowledge. Status. Stops an object in time while storing its kinetic energy. A stored, the stored energy will act upon the object when the flow time resumes. Make a good use of stored energy uh, even to move even the largest of objects. Sorry guys, I keep burping. I got gas. Okay, status. As I was talking about there about stored energy, we'll get to that uh, in a minute. With that boulder, you can see right there. Not this one. Okay, then let's get across. Actually, don't need to. Yeah. Okay, now run. Whoop. A traveler's shield, much better uh, quality. Okay, I actually didn't have to status that boulder once. Very nice. Oh, here's a really useful item. You're gonna always, and I repeat, always carry around these specific items. Uh, let's get rid of the, the club. I always carry these items. An iron sledgehammer, because it's good for mining. There are forms of mining in this game, we'll get to that later. I don't know if there's any on the Great Plateau, but we'll see. Um, and you're going to also want to carry a torch and a woodcutter's axe. There are other forms of woodcutter's axes in the game, that like double uh, double blades and that, that are much better. 
But we'll get to those later. Bow, bow. Stored energy. Release! Yep, that's the stored energy. You can make them literally go flying. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay, we've done that with that shrine, so let's do what we uh learnt. Bow, 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 bow. Damn it! Oh, no! I want to stay on it! Fuck. <laughs> I actually wanted to go flying with the boulder. Traveler's bow. Oh, butterfly. These butterflies are actually really useful for you. Uh, you'll find out soon enough because we're actually going to be cooking some more food in a minute. So, I'm actually going to pop back over here because we're heading over here to the Forest of Spirits for a short moment. We'll probably continue through them in the next episode and work our way up to the Snowy Mountain. Alright, so we're going to be heading over here to the forest because we're going to be looking for animals. The uh, only kind of animals you're really going to find on the Great Plateau are, for me, uh, for basically food, is birds, um, boars, which we are going to be hunting for in the forest, which we're going to go and try and find our favorite old man. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> okay, I don't remember the exact path. Pathway to him, though. I think it's through here. Uh, let's switch our weapon. Uh, let's have this. By the way, feel free to look inside trees and that. You'll sometimes find nests with eggs. And that's actually pretty useful. It's a boar! Kill it! I say kill it and I don't do a thing. <laughs> one. Sorry old man, did I ruin your hunting? <laughs> yeah, I think he's annoyed. Well, 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 so we meet again. What are you doing? Can you not see? I'm hunting here. You'll scare off my prey like that. At least crouch down a bit. I'm crouching. Shh, quiet now. What are you doing? Please be quiet, please. I'm still hunting. Got any tips? First crouch down and approach your prey quietly, sure it does not, you will not be noticed. When you're close enough in the detection, it's nearly imminent. Draw your bow and let your arrow fly. Aim thoroughly though, you should be able to take the down with a single arrow. I'm rather tired, yes I think I'm going to take a small break. Yeah what he's saying there is that if you can actually nail a headshot, it will kill. Okay we got a boar, we got one more boar over there. Let's uh, go and see if I can demonstrate this. This is a big tree right here. Boom! <laughs> well, we missed that other one, but oh well. I'll be hunting that... Um, Balls and everything off screen, so don't worry about them. We got it some eggs! Okay, let's get ourselves another Korok. Should be one right up here. By the way, one thing I don't think I've ever mentioned is that I'm planning to do a Korok guide. And uh, the Korok guide, I will be doing like all forms of editing. Once the game is complete, we are 100% done with the game and I've collected every single Korok, I will then be like cutting the video into parts uh, all through all the videos and yada yada yada. Okay, here the guy will teach you about cooking food, but I'm going to ignore that bit. You can get yourself some arrows and a bow. Actually, that Traveler's Bow would be better than the Boko Bow, so I'll take that instead. So, let's cook that food that we was going to cook before. So, it was spicy pepper, raw meats, and fish. I, I'm pretty sure that was right. And I just... 
What the heck do I think I'm doing? Boop. Take back that arrow. Okay, let's do that again. Spicy, raw, fish. Pretty sure this is correct. When you get that, that normally means you get yourself either a special bonus that can either increase how much hearts that you're going to get, or how much time you're going to get, or how much more it will like decrease. Say like this one gives you a, a cold down for 30 minutes, 30 seconds. But look there, we got the actual t nice, the name, Spicy Meat and Seafood Fry. Okay, let's head back over to the old man. I will see you guys over here by, well, the Korok and the old man. Okay, we are here. Let's go and talk to the old man, because we have the food. Yo! What you doing? This body of mine is what used to be a recovery for about uh, work. You're hungry, empty pot cooking supper. I cook something! Here! Wait, is that? It looks like my signature perfect dish, spicy meat and seafood fry. But how did you... Well, I suspect it's not important. Can I trouble you to share the recipe? Of course, highly in a bass. How could I have forgotten? Well done. Now please allow me to reward you for your kindly efforts with this warm doublet. Oh crap, I wasn't actually supposed to get that just yet. Um... I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. And as you can tell, I don't have the uh, the clothing that he gave us. Now, the reason why I don't want to grab that just yet, because I've been waiting for this. There are actually three ways you can get this clothing. What I just did there, up on top of the, um, I do believe it's this mountain right here. If you climb up this mountain here, he will be on top of it and he will give you it right there and then, so you don't need to cook the food. Or, once you're done with the Great Plateau and you have not gotten it yet, spoiler warning, he disappears once you're done with the Great Plateau. There will be a chest right here with those clothing inside. Now, um, I don't know whether to... So, I'm not going to grab the clothing until it appears as a chest right in here. I will explain about it later, but just trust me and say we actually don't need it right now. Because if you want to get through the cold area, just make yourself some, uh, just make yourself some food. You'll be just fine. So, that will actually end off this episode. The next episode, we're going to start up over here by the shrine, and we're going to work our way around the snowy mountain. I'm hoping in the next episode we can deal with exploring the mountain. Is there any here, the river, and that? There is actually still quite a bit left to explore. We haven't searched the forest, haven't searched this area here, or across here. So, I'm going to be trying to get as much done in the next episode as possible. But I do want to finish up the Great Plateau in a way in the next episode, aka Shrine, and get in the Paraglider, which will allow us to finally leave the Great Plateau. So, I hope you guys have all enjoyed, and in the next episode, I'll meet you up there at morning. You can pass time by the fire. See you next time.